Hello everyone, it's me Tobin Marley and today we're going to be doing the tag where your pet or animal picks your makeup. I know I'm a few weeks late for this, trust me, but I still wanted to do this because why not? And I have a lot of pets, well I have five, that's not too many but you know whatever. <laughs> the three animals that I'm going to be choosing today are going to be Dusty, my bunny, Shadow, my bunny, and Iggy, my hamster. I thought this tag would be really fun to do because one, I saw Nikki Tutorials do it and I love her so much. And also I saw Simply Neological do it and I love her as well. But as you also could probably tell, my background is very different today. I also have a mic so my audio hopefully sounds a bunch better. If you're a continued supporter, thank you guys for being back. I'm so thankful that you're here. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment down below whatever you want to comment and without further ado let's go ahead into the actual products that i'll be doing then my animals choosing and then me putting it on my face so the first section that i do of my face whenever i do makeup which isn't very often is i do my eyebrows so i have two eyebrow pencils as an option one is something it, it's pretty used so you can't really tell this isn't the right color for my eyebrows, so I'd prefer this wouldn't be chosen. And then I have one by the brand Trustique, and this is the pencil that I use like every single time I do my makeup. So yeah. To go on top of the brows, I have the eyebrow gel. One's by Models Own, and one's by Chella, and both of these are good good options, so yeah. Next, I have the eyelid primer slash base or whatever. Um, One's by the brand Ulta Beauty, so it's from Ulta. It's a tinted eyeshadow primer, and it's bright pink and sparkly, so that would change your look for sure. Then we have a eyeshadow crayon by the brand Dirty Little Secrets in the shade Fetch. The next thing that I have as an option is the eyeshadow palette. I have the Urban Decay Shadow Box palette, which would be crazy because all of these are very pigmented and very colorful. I would try to use the most outrageous colors like this purple, this blue, and that green. I would try to use that in my look because why not on this? Whoa, we'll see, we'll see. And then um, I have my next palette which is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen Tarte Palette and I love this palette. It's probably my favorite palette that I own. And yeah, it has lots of neutrals which is very nice and they're all super pigmented and awesome. Then to finish off the eyes, I have two mascaras. I don't have, these are my only two mascaras that I own, so I don't have many options. I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and that's a pretty good one. And then I have the Tarte Lifted Sweatproof Mascara in the shade brown. Next, I have the concealer slash foundation section. I don't really wear either of these very often. But my favorite concealer that I have is the NYX Professional Makeup HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. That's a mouthful. Um, this is my go-to. It's pretty awesome. So yeah. And then I have this one that I don't really like at all. It's the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 Sunscreen. Um, it's not that I hate it, it's just it's not the right color for me at all. And yeah. And then what would go on top of that would be the setting powder, and I have the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder that would go, yeah, it would go on top of it. And I don't love this setting powder, it's, yeah. And then I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Setting Powder, and this is my favorite, so yeah. <laughs> Next we have bronzer, I have the, I have the Too Faced Chocolate something bronzer this is my favorite bronzer that i own it's matte and smells like chocolate so that's a plus and then i have the tarte amazonian clay bronzer i'd prefer this one opposed to the tarte because the tarte is very shimmery and sometimes it can make your face look muddy but whatever i'd be fine with either next is blush and i have the makeup revolution triple baked blusher in the shade candy queen of hearts and this is super, super shimmery, so it's more of a highlighter than a blush, but I don't really use blush, so 
that's the only other option I had, so we'll see how it turns out. And then I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 hour, no, 12 hour blush in the shade Parte. And this is my favorite blush if I ever use it. It's very neutral and it does last a while. Then the second to last thing that I have is <laughs> highlighter. Highlighter is probably my favorite step that I have. I don't know why. It's just, it amplifies my day. It just makes me feel more confident, you know. And then the two options that I have is the Too Faced Unicorn Highlighter. And this one's pretty insane. It could either break or make, make or break an entire look because it's purple and blue. So we'll see. The other option that I have is the IBY Beauty Highlighter in the shade 24 Karat Magic. And this is just a nice neutral bronzy highlighter that I love. Now the last step that I have are, is the lipstick. I have this one by the brand Sweet and Shimmer. It's a lip crayon in pinky shade. And it's matte and, well it's creamy. It, it's, it's one of my favorites because it's very neutral and simple. And then I have the Ulta Beauty Lip Gloss Stain in the shade Very Bright Red, aka Treason is what it's called. So now that I've shown you all the options that I have, let's go ahead into my animals choosing the actual products. Let's hope I've trained them well and that they love me.